Nell's restaurant is a fine dining restaurant, but I don't like to call it fine dining, I like to call it unique dining. You know, I go out to the local forests and beaches and try and find different unique woods and seaweeds that we can dry out and serve the food on to give that full experience of what the world's about. We just have fun of what we want to do, you know. My personality stamps on that food of where we bring that customer experience to the highest level than we possibly can. I've always had an idea since the age of 22 in my brain of what I wanted to do. And I think growing up in the industry and working for top class chefs, you take a little bit from each person, but then you need to mold it into your own personality. It has to be your personality or else at the end of the day, there's no point doing it. This location I picked because it was a blank space, it was an opportunity to, to build the space up to what we wanted it to be. We didn't have a lot of cash flow at the time, but we managed to build the whole kitchen. It's got character, it's got beautiful old fashioned copper pipe work, brickwork uh, that's been here for you know almost a century, so it's actually a heritage site. We change the menu every seven weeks. I think we're on our 39th menu. What we're trying to do is introduce new foods to the customers, try different ideas, different techniques. To produce what you want to produce in your head, you have to have the right equipment and the right chefs in that kitchen. The priorities for the kitchen for me were straight away the size of the kitchen of fitting in appliances that don't overbear the chefs. We had two dollars left in our account the week we opened. As you can imagine opening up on a really really small budget we actually had nothing in there. We worked very closely with Stoddarts and with Electrolux to make sure that that kitchen fits. You walk in and it's pristine, the shelving's all beautiful, the benches are top drawer. You walk into the kitchen and the oven fits perfectly with an amazing blast chiller next to it. You're moving onto your solid top where you're cooking and you just turn around onto your little island bench in the middle so the, the chef that's cooking on their stoves can just turn and do one movement instead of three movements now. The window on the front of the pass is a theatre and when you look through that theatre you've got the characters in the kitchen which is the chefs but also in the background now you've got beauty in a beautiful fridges and an amazing oven, amazing solid top and gas ring that looks unbelievable. The Electrolux Combi oven is the best on the market. We worked very hard for two years to get this into there. We're very proud of it. The one that we've got in the kitchen with a Lamba sensor is absolutely unreal. You know, we're cooking pork belly in there and it keeps the juice inside the actual meat. It doesn't go onto the plate. And then when you're eating that pork belly, it just melts in your mouth and the juice from that is unbelievable. It's a little matching blast chiller. They actually talk to each other, which is fantastic. So you can actually bring it out of the oven, stick it in there and it actually knows what temperature it's at to bring it down as quick as possible. It fits like an absolute jigsaw now and it's an absolute pleasure to have that in there when you trust something it's like a, a girlfriend you trust your girlfriend you stay with the girlfriend with your equipment you stay with it because you trust that equipment and we have that with Electrolux and the guys at Stoddart top class equipment you can't say anything else about that so I'm so proud of it because it just makes the chefs happy for cooking in there I love a challenge and I love uh, excitement of pushing myself every day to become the best and the day that I stop loving it is the day that I will hang up that apron and say, you know what, no more. <laughs>